Good day. Today we will be talking about permutation. So basic permutation or specifically linear permutation. First, what is permutation? So, permutation is a mathematical technique that determines the number of possible arrangement in a set when the order of arrangement matters. So this is usually being applied whenever that we are asked for the possible arrangements. For example, how many ways can you arrange the letters T, E, N? There are three different ways for us to determine the number of ways for us to arrange the letters T, E, N. Basically, we may use three diagram. So using three diagram, first we list down all of those elements. So we do have T, E, and N. So after having the first letter, so we can pair this letter T to either E or N. And for letter E, we can have letters T and N. While for if we do have letter N already, so the two remaining letters that we can pair for this one are letters E and T. So we do have two letters already. So next thing, we put another branch because since we already have T and E, therefore the remaining letter that we can attach here is the letter N. While on the lower part, we do have T and we do have N, so the remaining letter to attach to this one or to add to this one is the letter E. So same thing goes with the next branch if we do have E, T, therefore we can add N. The next we do have E, N, we can add T. For the next one, N, E, we can add T as well. We do have N, T, we can add E. So if we count now the number of branches that we have made, so we do have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So meaning we do have 6 possible ways to arrange the letters T, E, N. And this is what tree diagram is. Aside from tree diagram, we can also use a systematic listing to wherein we're going to really list down the possible arrangements of the letters T, E, N. So we can have T, E, N as well. Or we may have T, N, E. We can have E, T, N. We can have E, N, T. We have N, E, T. Or we can have N, T, E. So no more. So upon counting again, the number of possible arrangement that we are seeing right now is 6. So same with the tree diagram, we arrive to 6 possible ways. But the easiest of all in determining the number of ways to arrange the letters T, E, N is by simply using the so-called permutation. Under this case, we may use the formula for permutation as P equals N factorial. So wherein P means permutation and N represents the number of elements present on our problem. So in this case, in this problem, we do have three elements present. We do have three letters present on our problem. So we do have T, E, N. So meaning, we transform our formula into P equals 3 factorial since we do have three letters present on our problem or three elements. So when we say factorial, it's just only a matter of multiplying the number descendingly up to the least natural number. So therefore, we transform 3 factorial into 3 times 2 times 1. If we do have 5 factorial, for example, it is transformed into 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. But in this case, we do have 3 factorial, so we do have now this. 3 times 2 times 1. So the last thing is we simplify this expression. So 3 times 2 times 1, therefore the answer is 6. So just like the tree diagram and the listing, systematic listing, we also got 6 ways of arranging the letters T, E, N. So let us now have another example using the permutation notation. Example number 2. How many ways can you arrange 5 distinct mannequins in a display window? So for us to do that, for us to find it easily or quickly, let us use the permutation notation. So P is equal to N factorial. So in this case, we do have 5 elements present. We do have 5 distinct mannequins as we are seeing. Therefore, we do have now P equals 5 factorial. So simplifying 5 factorial into expanded form, we do have 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 and times 1. So simplifying this, multiplying all of these numbers, therefore, the number of ways we can have or to arrange these mannequins is said to be 120 ways. Now, what if the number of elements to be taken from the set is limited or restricted? So once this happens, we use the formula P or the permutation of N taken R equals to, so to be transformed into N factorial 
over n minus r quantity factorial. So, where in n, as said earlier, represents the number of elements. And here, r represents the number of elements to be taken or to be used. For example, how many ways can a group of six students can take a picture take a picture containing just two from them? So, for us to solve this using the permutation notation, so six students, only two from them at a time. So, we will have permutation of n taken r to n factorial over n minus r quantity factorial. So, we are to use this formula because there's a restriction from using the six students in the picture taking. So, therefore, this transform into so permutation of six taken two since we do have six students and we just only have two person at a time in taking the picture. So, we transform into factorial notation. So, having six factorial over six minus two quantity factorial. So, 6, since we do have 6 elements present, and we're just simply going to take 2 from them. So, further simplifying, so we simplify 6 minus 2, therefore, we do have now 6 factorial over 4 factorial. So, the next thing, we expand 6 factorial as well as 4 factorial. So, we do have, on the numerator, we do have 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, while on the denominator, for 4 factorial, we do have 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. In this case, we may cancel out 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Thus, what remains now here is 6 times 5. So, 6 times 5, therefore, we do have 30 ways to have the picture taking of 6 students having 2 at a time. Another example. How many 5-digit codes can be made using the numbers from 0 to 9? So, no repetition of elements. So, because it is a different formula to use once repetition is allowed. So, we use the formula, the same formula again, permutation of n taken r equals n factorial over n minus r quantity factorial. So, in this case, so what is our n? So, the number of elements that we are dealing are the numbers from 0 to 9. So, from 0 to 9, if we're going to count up those numbers, so how many elements are present? So, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, upon counting all of these elements, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, we do have 10 elements. So, therefore, we're going to have permutation of 10. Taken R, how many numbers are we going to get out of this number? So, we are going to make 5-digit code. So, therefore, we're going to just only take 5 numbers out of these 10 characters or 10 elements. So, thus, permutation of 10 taken R will be equal to n factorial n now becomes 10 over n, 10 as well. Then, our R is said to be 5. So, we do have now the equation permutation of 10 taken 5 equals 10 factorial over 10 minus 5 quantity factorial. Simplifying the denominator, 10 minus 5, so that is equivalent to 5. So, therefore, we do have 10 factorial over 5 factorial. Expanding this factorial notation for us to further simplify. So, 10 factorial becomes 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. While 5 factorial in expanded form is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Just like the previous example, we may cancel out 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, that's what remains now on our equation is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. So, the next thing is we just simply multiply all of these numbers. Therefore, the answer to our problem is 30,245 digit codes that we can make out of the numbers from 0 to 9, wherein there is no repetition. Now, what if the elements can be used again or wherein the repetition this time now is allowed? So, we will be using a different formula. So, the formula now that we will use is P of course, representing the permutation, is equal to n base to r. Wherein n still represents the number of elements and r are the number of elements to be used. So, let us have the same example, but this time, let us allow now repetition. So, repetition is allowed. 
how many 5 digits code can be made using the numbers from 0 to 9. So, similar to our previous example, but this time, we are now allowed to have the repetition of elements. So, since it is stated that we are allowed to repeat, so we will be using a different formula. So, P is equal to N raised to R. So, N means the number of elements. So, we are using the numbers from 0 to 9, and as we have listed it down earlier, so there are 10 elements from 0 to 9. So, we do have P equals 10 in our R. So, we're going to create a 5-digit code. So, it will now become 10 raised to 5. So, rewriting our equation, P equals to 10 raised to 5. So, we just simply simplify this exponential term. 10 raised to 5 means 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. And that gives us 100,000. So, therefore, the answer to the problem is we can create 100,000 5-digit codes if the petition is allowed. So, hope you understand these basic permutations in solving such problems. So, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something from this session of ours. See you next time.